This video is brought to you by theskillmodeler.com. Hey guys, back again with another tutorial. This time it's how to diamond cut wheels. Now first off I start with priming it and I'm doing this with a zero paints primer and the technique I'm using is uh, holding the airbrush steady and giving it a really really small amount of paint and then just spinning the wheel to cover everything. I just let that dry for about 30 minutes and then move on to painting the silver in pretty much the same technique but then moving the airbrush a small bit from side to side and slowly uh, spinning the wheel as well. Now we're moving on to the most important step in this tutorial and that is by covering the zero paints which is a uh, thinner based paint or a cellulose thinner based paint with a uh, acrylic paint and the reason for doing this in acrylic is that we are going to wipe off uh, the excess paint which we don't want with acrylic thinner and if we would have done this with uh, let's say zero paints we would wipe off the zero paints layer as well and be left with pretty much no paint at all and this is pretty much where the magic starts I took out a q-tip and put a small amount of the uh, Vallejo airbrush thinner onto that q-tip and what that does is wipe off the black paint from the high spots and thus creating the diamond cut effect on the wheels and just like I said earlier on the reason why I'm using acrylic paints is because the acrylic thinner does not affect the zero paints uh, or uh, whatever other paint you would like to use for this as long as it's not acrylic based make sure the underneath layer is dry before applying the acrylic paint over it because if it wasn't dry that would leave you with a horrible effect and might even ruin the wheel and now I'm just moving slowly around the wheel being careful and taking my time uh, to only wipe off the areas I want to be wiped off Also when applying the second color, in this case the black, be sure to do it thin because if you do a really thick layer it has, uh, the thinner has more to remove so it will take a lot longer and if you do it in thin coats uh, it will cover just as well but there will be less paint buildup and it will be easier for the thinners to break through the layer of black and removing it. In my case I am using Vallejo over Zero Paints but you could also use any other uh, base paint you want. Um, you could use uh, Alclad or uh, Scale Finishers Gravity Colors as long as it's not an acrylic paint because as I said earlier on if it is an acrylic paint it's no use in applying an acrylic paint over it and then removing it again because you will break through the original color and that's not what you want so make sure to use two different types of paint and preferably using an acrylic top coat as the acrylic paint pretty much plays well with every other paint and to get in this tight uh, spot I'm not using the q-tip as that is a bit too big and bulky and would probably remove the black in the center as well so what I did is fold up a paper towel into a sharp point and then applying the thinners to that specific small area and then going over it with a clean uh, q-tip to remove the black paint. On some wheel designs like this wheel there are some tighter spots which uh, are harder to reach with a big q-tip or a big piece of paper towel so what you could do is uh, again wet the paper towel with some of the airbrush thinners and then apply it to that small area lightly which 
breaks up the paint so you can easily remove it with the toothpick. And finally to finish this wheel off, I'm going to highlight the wheel bolts with some silver. Now this is pretty much all you need to do. You could now apply the decal and leave it as is or uh, give it a gloss by clear coating the wheel. Now just to give you a bit of a better understanding on how this works, I did this on another wheel design as well. It's pretty much the same, I only used a gun metal uh, accent color instead of the black just to give it a bit of a different look. With all the flat areas now cleaned off, it was either uh, decide to leave it like this or clean the center out, and I decided to clean the center out as well. I did uh, put a lot more thinners on the Q-tip this time as it was a bigger area and uh, less chance of removing paint I didn't want to, so I just went at it. This is how they came out. Overall, I'm pretty satisfied and they look exactly like the way I wanted them to. In the meantime, don't forget to check out my web shop, thescalemodeler.com. I'm an official dealer for Zero Paints, Scale Production, and C1 Models. Also, don't forget to give us a like on Facebook. If you have any questions or suggestions, post a comment or shoot me an email. And of course, as always, thanks for watching. Hope to see you guys next time.